Okay, hey YouTube, this is another tutorial from Chris Price Productions, a very quick one. This is just how to make a shadow or something. If uh, you don't have a shadow, so you have, say, a 3D object or something that you've put into Photoshop. And you may you want to make it look realistic with the background you've got. And you think, I want to put a shadow, I want to put a shadow behind it. Well, this is how you do it. You don't, uh, you'd create a new image by selecting File New. And for now, I'm just going to select Clipboard, considering that I just copied a background image just a minute ago. Um, so, we're just going to leave all that transparent. Uh, that doesn't really matter. That's your personal preference, to be honest. Hit OK. And then you're just going to wait for it to load up, and then it'll load up. I'm just going to paste in what I had. Command V, or Control V. And I thought this was a good background just to use, just for this tutorial. Then you want to go into Safari and go on to Google or Internet Explorer if you're a Windows user and you want to say let's just type in phone go on images and we will find a nice phone let's find this one, this one looks right the iPhone, the iPhone 5 decent phone we'll copy that and Control V or Command V we'll paste it in now you got the white background. Now to eliminate this stage, you can always search transparent PNG at the end of at the end of anything, and you should get it. But if you don't, then you can come into Photoshop, and I'd use quick selection tool or the magic wand tool. If you come over, use the magic wand tool, click the white area, then it will automatically select what it might want you what you want it to select, and just press the backspace button. Get rid of it. You don't need it. Press the arrows press the selection tool uh, the move tool sorry um, just do that just to unselect that and um, notice we've got still a bit of white but that doesn't really matter to be honest I mean this is just a tutorial it doesn't really matter I'm just showing you how to make a shadow that's not the point of it so it looks a bit big to be in the scene we'll hold command T or control T for window users hold that and then we will just hold that and hold shift at the same time so it makes it smaller in proportion drag it down until you find the size you want I mean obviously this doesn't have to be for a phone it be for anything just tutorial and then press the apply transformation button and with the selection tool selected you want to position position your phone or your whatever you want to put in the scene then what you want to do is you want to come over to the layer with the phone in and then you want to duplicate it by dragging it down to the create a new layer option there and then it makes a copy now you can see we've got two copies of the phone now what you want to do is you want to move this layer down and then make sure this these are both black both here and then you want to fill it by pressing shift command or for windows users shift control delete the delete key and then that makes something black and that looks that just looks completely really bad but we're gonna fix that now what you want to do is you want to press c command or control T bring up transformation controls again I want to move it back here now you can see the light is kind of seems to be pretty strong at the front probably more dominating on this side so we want to kind of bring that into thought whilst we are creating this shadow and then really you just want to place it behind it for something to look like it is a shadow shadow of the phone obviously you don't want something to be too obvious so if we just have that um, that looks pretty good I think just move it up a tad oh wait move it up just a bit Move it over. And um, we'll just rotate it a bit more. Just give it that kind of. Make it a bit longer as well. Obviously, if it's something like this with a wall that's facing up and then a flat surface, you don't really want to bring it over that unless you see an advanced tutorial how to do this because then that will just mess quite a lot of things up. Anyway, apply transformation.
Now, that still looks pretty bad, but you can kind of see where it's coming from. Then you want to make sure you select it on the layer, and you want to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, anything from 3 to 5 will work. You can kind of see it's given us a nice effect already. So if we go for 3 to pix three pixels, that'll just give it a nice bit of a blur. But we could always go for a bit of, uh, say, 4.5. Now give us a nice look, hit OK. And if needed, just reposition the shadow. And there you have it. Now, obviously, it would make it a lot, e a lot better if the phone was actually facing the direction rather than just facing head on. So it makes it look more realistic. But different lighting and different objects will have different shadows. So just remember that. So key points this tutorial shift control or command delete and duplicating the layer it's, best, it's simple simple it's done so if you like this tutorial then i'd love to have you subscribe i have a lot more tutorials on their way out um i've got a couple of tutorials already and like and comment and i want to see what you guys think about this thanks for watching subscribe and um see all my other videos have a look at them and, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit.